a high for fact is okay thank you speaking to laurel richie hi laurel how are you i'm very well how are you today paul i'm good and i'm so happy to get to speak with you you're the vice president chief marketing officer for the girl scouts of usa congratulations on doing that they're a great great organization well thank you very much we're very very proud to be associated with uh, the premier leadership organization for girls now tell us a little bit more since i'm just with your help from the girl kind of leadership for three basically in the reverend boy scout um tell us about the girl scouts well, the Girl Scouts are a very well-known, well-loved brand, and uh, as we've talked to young girls and potential volunteers, we've learned that they have a very, very limited view of what Girl Scouting is all about. So our work in rebranding is really to get the word out and to tell the story of all the amazing things that girls are doing as Girl Scouts. Really wonderful, exciting activities like robotics and fashion design and rock climbing wow. and sea kayaking, uh, going to space camp, and all of these activities underneath them uh, is a, an experience that helps girls hone their leadership skills and really decide what kind of leader they want to be in their own life and in the community at large. So we're really, really excited about the opportunities uh, and the achievements of the girls who participate in Girl Scouting. Let's go, let's, a little bit of, uh, on the, uh, the history. It's been around for since 1912, so we're coming up on our 100th anniversary and 100 years of um, building female leaders. Yay! Uh, we want to do a gigantic thing with that um, when, uh, and leading up to that. Absolutely. We're really, uh, I, I, tell, how old is when, when does a, a girl become a Girl Scout? It can start uh, when girls are in kindergarten. So we, really? have, we offer Girl Scouting from K through 12. Uh, grades and uh, we hope that girls stick with Girl Scouting all the way through. You know the great thing we've learned as we've done our research and talked to girls today is they really want to change the world and even the youngest Girl Scout daisies and brownies really want to make an impact and make the world a better place so as we've re-looked at our program and done some redesign work it's all uh, focused on the girls and giving them opportunities to take action. We've got great stories of girls who have, there's a young woman in New Jersey who's very passionate about reading and she's taken that passion and built after school reading programs for girls in East, East Africa and it started as one school and one after school group and it's now expanded to three schools and three sets of girls in Tanzania, 150 girls all benefiting from her love of reading and her desire to to share that with other girls. So we think girls today are doing wonderful things and have big ideas, and our goal is to really help them uh, become the leaders that they want to be. You know, I'm looking at the uh, at your website, mm -hmm. um, and I know you're involved with that. And uh, tell us how, what kind of information's on there. Uh, at girlscouts.org, you can find lots of information about the activities. Um, we, there's a great story that we're featuring right now about a young woman who last month um, is very, very concerned about the rising incidence of cyberbullying here in the U.S. And she testified in Washington uh, with a congressional panel on the dangers of cyberbullying. So that's another example of a girl taking on an issue. And also on our website, girlscouts.org, uh, you can find uh, a connection to your local council. So if you're a young girl who wants to become a Girl Scout or an adult who wants to volunteer. And our adult volunteers, you don't have to be a uh, mom or you don't have to have a young girl in your home. All you really need is an interest in helping us shape this next generation of female leaders. And we're, we're happy and we're trying to make it as easy as possible for you to join the organization. Uh, it used to be volunteers would come and uh, sign up for a year long of almost weekly meetings. And now we're creating the opportunity where if you have an interest in photography or uh, in uh, computer skills or some, some passion that you want to share with girls, we're making it easier for you to do that in a shorter time period that's good for you and easier for you and, and good for girls. So we're hoping both girls and, and volunteers will hear the news, hear the story, and want to join. So now if you want to do that, all right, so here, say I'm, we're here in a big city, New York, right? Uh -huh. And uh, we want to... You have more uh, involvement with the Girl Scouts. Um, what would uh, 
to go to your website, do you suggest? Yes, go, go to the website, girlscouts.org, and you'll see a little button that says something like Council Finder, uh, and that will put you in touch with your local council. Our program is delivered through a network of councils all around the country, so through the website you can get in touch with your local council. Well, it, you know, I think what I think so much, and I'm so proud to say I'm a Boy Scout, um, is and I'm proud to say I'm a Girl Scout. And, uh, and because, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I use the Boy Scout uh, code of uh, uh, ethics or the trustworthy, loyal, helpful, right? I, I've used it, one, to get into my fraternity. It's one of the few things that I ever memorized in my life. But I used it for my daughter's wedding as uh, what I thought was important in, in, a, in a character of, of a person and or a character of a couple. Absolutely. Um, and I, I can... Each word, uh, what is the, the code of, uh, of, of the Girl Scouts? Yeah, you know, our, our mission is to build girls of courage, confidence, and character who yeah. make the world a better place. And, and I, I couldn't agree more with you. I, I think it is really important for girls and boys to find uh, organizations that really help them develop um, uh, their value system, to develop their leadership skills, to learn how to work with other people, to learn how to do planning. You know, one of the things we love about the Girl Scout Cookie Program is that really for most girls in this country is their first experience running a business. And, you know, they get goal setting, they set the goals, they get experience making decisions, they get, uh, learn the ability to manage money, they learn people skills, how to approach people and sort of do their sales pitch and I think particularly to your earlier point um, this cookie program for Girl Scouting also helps girls really understand how to run an, a business in a very ethical way and I think that's just a, a really important set of skills and we're really proud that girls through the cookie program and other activities uh, have have that um, have that exposure and that experience and on the bigger picture you know I, I I believe uh, uh, you have so many patrons and so many uh, corporations and uh, um, individuals that uh, help make donations to your organization. I believe is that so? Yes, we do. You know, we have about 50 million. Uh, we believe 50 million Girl Scouts alums. Uh, now we don't have the names and email addresses of all of them, but we're very, very interested, particularly as we approach our 100th anniversary, of reconnecting with those women. Uh, we know Girl Scouting has had a very significant impact on their lives. We want to reconnect with them, and we want to also gauge their interest in reengaging with this generation of girls and helping shape, uh, help, helping shape their Girl Scout experience. Uh, we do have many very generous um, foundations and corporations that we partner with, but I think all of us are feeling the economic crunch. And right now, we, we serve about 10 percent of girls in the United States, and our hope is that we can grow. Uh, I worry about the 90 percent of girls that we haven't yet reached, and those are girls, while we're available and around in every zip code, we want to make sure that we are reaching out to girls in all facets of, of our communities, and we need help and support in doing that. And I think, you know, in today's day and age, this high-tech, let's call it way of life, and maybe even call it impersonal at, at times, mm -hmm. uh, you know, instead of calling somebody on the phone or, or meeting at a, at a meeting, uh, you know, we're, we're texting and emailing and so, you know, quick, 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 but uh, we lose that uh, that touch, that feel, that real energy of uh, the, where an organization like the Girl Scouts, it's, it's bonding people actually uh, sitting next to each other or going camp. My great, one of my favorite stories is when, when I went camp, I got stuck in the sleeping bag. But the, point <laughs> is, but the point is, I had people around me, real human beings. Yeah, and I, I think that's one of the things that we've worked very hard uh, in Girl Scouting is to offer girls a wide, wide range of of activities and experiences and I, I totally agree with you that I think um, and we know that girls really care about the environment and they want to be outdoors and they understand the importance of leading healthy active lifestyles so we want to make sure that we offer that to girls but we also want to make sure that we're helping them understand how to use technology and how to use it safely and how to use it 
um, effectively to solve problems around the world. So, so we very much want to offer girls a, a portfolio of experiences um, that really help them become the leaders that they, that they want to be. Well-rounded, exemplified. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Last question, and I'd love to do more with you, and we'll get back to you and see how we can help get the good news out uh, about the Girl Scouts. So what's good news for you? What's good news for me? Actually, I'm inspired every day by the things that girls do in Girl Scouting. So that's, that's where I draw my inspiration, and that's the good news of the day. Okay, and the good news for me, I'm just going to, I don't usually say what then the good news is for me, is never passing a Girl Scout cookie opportunity to buy some and eat them. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> you take care. Bye-bye. Alrighty, bye-bye.